Welcome to Fitch Painting Repairs Garage. This is our first video in a new location. We've finally relocated, uh, temporarily working out of the garage and at the house, at the new house. Uh, just kind of set it up like I had it before, flip-flopped it a little bit, um, got the lift all set up, got the Vulcan up on the lift. Uh, I got a couple other projects I got to take care of. You know, I got to deal with, uh, you know, list of stuff to do around the house so we're not really back up to speed quite yet uh, repair wise on the bikes but we are set up to be able to do some things Just update on the 67 still have this I've been having a few problems with um, the chain I think I'm gonna have to replace the chain rear brake um, I keep losing parts yeah you know, when I take it out for a ride yeah it's one of those things you got a wrench on it every time so uh, you know, old school bridges type choppers, you know, just vintage bikes, vintage problems. So, uh, got the Honda sitting out here, sidecar. I've been having some fuel leaking issues with it. That was uh, one of the last projects we had to deal with at the old location. Um, it's got two tanks on it. The upper tank is, is only half the capacity of the fuel on that particular bike. There's another tank underneath with a fuel pump. And um, <clears throat> the transfer from the top tank down to the bottom tank, there's a vent line and it, it burst and quit and started leaking. And I think the other other fuel lines are probably needing to be repaired as well. So it's still, it's filling the garage up with gas fumes overnight. So we'll have to deal with that. Today, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it out and ride it and run all the fuel out of it. And then uh, we'll drain it the rest of the way, pull it apart and we'll deal with that. Um, so we still got the chopper up for sale. Uh, Dinah's sitting here. She's a good workhorse. Honda's been running great other than that fuel leak. We've got this up here on the lift. Now this is going to be our next project. This is a 1996 Vulcan Classic 1500 with a bad second gear. It uh, pops out of gear. It's got that uh, engagement issue. I'm going to pull it down and see if I can't have the uh, gears machined again or possibly replace them. Um, I was discussing it and uh, I did not know and I was not aware that this particular motorcycle is a four-speed transmission, not a five-speed. I had thought that all of the 1500 classic engines were all five-speeds, but no. This gen is actually a four-speed. So it's a different engine. Uh, it's all the same, just different gearbox. So we'll have to, you know, different gear ratios and stuff like that. So that second gear is a different gear ratio than the uh, one that I did before on the drifter. But uh, I'll try to document it a little better. We'll try to do a few uh, better uh, detailed videos on it and stuff like that, especially when I get it apart and we'll, I'll show you exactly what the problem was on it, you know, as I get to stages and tear it apart. I'll try to video it uh, a lot more and you know but I'm not a how-to kind of guy you know that's that's not what we do here at our video at our uh, page I'm not here to tell you guys how to do it I'm here just documenting what it is I do so that I can look back in the future and see what I've done on my project bikes you know and so that's what I do you know and then if I have a customer or something like that that I work on their bike you know so that we can go back and look at what we've done, you know, <coughs> excuse me, as, as, you know, years later or something like that, you know, or, <coughs> pardon me, pollen, I think. Um, and, um, you know, it also helps, you know, people feel like they're engaged and part of it without having to hang out in the garage and, you know, because no mechanic likes somebody watching over their shoulder. That's just never a good deal. So, you know, let us work, let us concentrate, don't bother us kind of thing, and we'll do it right and do it right the first time. But if you won't insist on being part of it, you know, this is a better way of doing it. You know, that way you guys can watch and follow along. So that's why I got started doing these videos. I, I don't want to be famous. As you guys see, my page is really small. I don't have a whole lot of videos, and I don't edit my videos. I just do raw videos. You know, I, I take it with my phone. I watch it before I put it on, make sure there's no content that's you know, inappropriate or anything like that. And then I just post. So, unedited, unfiltered, this is me. This is how I do business. So, we will get this garage set up. We'll be up to speed once I get all my licenses transferred and stuff over here to the new location. Currently, we're, stu we're, st 
we still occupy the other house uh, for another month. Um, so all my licenses are still current out of that location, but really I'm not taking projects right now. I'm just doing the move and getting set up and all that. So I'll transfer all my licenses and get everything going for that. And uh, we should be up to speed here real soon and I'll start taking projects uh, locally. Uh, I'll be set up as a mobile mechanic again and I'll go around you know, with my truck and trailer and I'll come to you and I'll work on projects and if I can't handle dealing with it on, on truck or trailer and then we'll load it and bring it back here and I'll work on it. So that's the way we're going to do things. I'm still going to do the house painting thing. Uh, it makes a lot more money than the motorcycles unless the motorcycles just take over my life. You know, and I would love that, you know, but I'm looking to build a small shop. Um, and it's not going to be a public shop to where, you know, it's, you come by and visit and hang out and stuff like that. It's just going to be a workshop for me. It's going to be a private workshop and I'll film videos in it <coughs> uh, because I, I will be in a residential area. And so, you know, it's just going to be a private shop and I will work as a mobile mechanic. And that's the plan until maybe I might I might end up getting a storefront. You know, uh, there's quite a few locations around here that I might be able to purchase or rent and uh, move my operations into that, you know, and that, that could be a public type storefront shop there. But those require a lot of revenue. And right now the business isn't making that kind of money to sustain something like that. So, but the potential's there. So, but what we're going to focus on, we're going to focus on this Vulcan. This is going to be our first main project other than doing some maintenance on the current bikes and whatnot. Um, and so we'll slowly start tearing this down and in between other uh, projects around the house and getting going with the house painting business around here. I still have the 67 chopper listed for sale. Well, actually I took the post down because I had the rear brake issue and I didn't feel it was safe to sell it at the point, but I figured it out. It was not a problem. Just the uh, stabilizer link stay a rod that's on the rear brake hub on that thing I lost the front bolt and so the whole hub shifted and so therefore the brake wasn't just you know, it was just shifted so the brake pads weren't uh, brake shoes weren't engaging I rotated that back into place torqued it all back down did a whole rear wheel alignment chain tensioning and all that stuff replaced the bolt put a whole bunch of Loctite on it and um, took it out for a nice little test ride um, got stung by a wasp in my neck uh, that hurt like a son of a gun I was wearing a helmet and he got me right where my helmet and my head you know base of my skull oh man that was miserable I about jumped right off the bike when that happened. Whew. But anyway, so that bike's for sale. Uh, I'm about to take the Honda out and drain the fuel out of it and pull the tank off and I'll change some fuel lines on that. And then eventually I'll start tearing this engine apart. So stay tuned, guys. That's where we're at.